Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to enable vertical tabs in Firefox 131 using about config. So in the URL bar we're going to type about config and then search for sidebar and at the bottom what you'll see is these couple of options here and what we need to do is enable sidebar vertical tabs and sidebar sidebar revamp. So all you need to do is just double click on these through through and what you'll see is this is um, now going to change and what you'll have is this little button show sidebars so if we click that you'll now have the sidebar open up here so what we want to do first of all is set the options for the sidebar so if we come across here you can see the option options that you can set always show hide sidebar sidebar on the left sidebar on the right vertical tabs so what we're actually going to do is we're going to switch this to the right because it's actually less in, less intrusive as you're reading the page so we can now click that but what you'll notice is the tab bar um still has this little plus icon so what happens is um you can see here we can click a new tab we have the new tab button here so this um, is redundant so what we need to do is actually remove this because it's taking up a lot of space that we can reclaim so just right click here customize toolbar grab that click done and now you have this nice setup of having the sidebar on the right here and um, you won't have this extra bar above the URL bar taking up extra space. So, for example, um, let me just come across here, uh, through BSD Forum. Okay. And what I just want to do is come across to this post. So, this was a post I did last night about um, how to enable this. And what I want to do is actually. Um, show you the difference between having the sidebar on the left and the right. So what I was mentioning here is having the sidebar on the left is actually a bit intrusive and causes you to lose focus on the page because the sidebar actually pushes the content to the right. I'll show you what I mean. So if I switch that back to the left, close that here. What I find is having the sidebar on the left and you can toggle it like this actually pushes all this content to the right um, because as you'll see uh, on most websites they'll have a margin and a border um, not a border you know some padding um, and so what happens with the sidebar on the left it's actually pushing all the content to the right so instead of the you reading the content down here you're having to read it on the right here so this is just a personal preference but show on the right um, like that and I find that just a lot less intrusive um, you're actually focusing on the page here and you don't really notice this um, sidebar quite so much um, so what I'm just going to do is have a quick go through this post here just to recap so there's basically two methods to do this the first one I just showed you is by going to about config search for sidebar as you can see here sidebar revamp sidebar vertical tabs and what you'll actually see there are four options for the sidebar is <clears throat> sidebar revamp you have to enable both the sidebar revamp and the vertical tabs um, because the vertical tabs are in the sidebar um, you also have the main tools and that actually determines what shows up here um, in Firefox 131 if you come to the settings and go to Firefox labs what you'll see is there are a couple of options one I would recommend is a uh, picture in picture auto open on tab switch which is quite nice but if you want to have a AI chat bot um, in the sidebar you can do that by enabling it here and let me just close the settings and the main tools option in about config uh, determines what actually appears so you can see here bookmarks um, if I had the AI assistant 
enabled it with sharp here. So that's the about config that determines what's actually enabled in the sidebar. So you can see here sidebar main tools, AI chat history. And then you've got the visibility and this is the initial visibility when it first starts up. You can have it to be hidden by default um, or always um, enabled. So those are the options. And the second method is using the user js.js file. And the way you do that is first of all, press Alt or Option, come up to Help, go to More Troubleshooting Information. And what you'll see here is Profile Directory. And this is the Firefox Profile Directory. So you just click Open Directory. Um, my, um, I don't have a file manager on this system. I just use Emacs. So that's why it's not opening anything. But what would happen is this would open up. And what you then just need to do is actually copy this bit of code into the user JS file. So create a user JS file in the Firefox profile directory. So let's have a look dot Mozilla Firefox and the default um, profile usually looks something like default release. And if you come into that folder, what you'll need to do is create this user.js file and as you can see i've actually got these all commented out because i've just done it with about config so let me just uncomment these okay so we've got four options here we've got um sidebar revamp true sidebar visibility hide sidebar sidebar main tools history sidebar sidebar vertical tabs true this is exactly the same as doing it in your about config but the advantage of this is that you can keep all your settings in one place and if you have multiple machines rather than actually having to go onto each machine and go into about config and toggle the options on you can just put this user.js file in the profile directory and it will apply those settings automatically so again, that was the second method. Um, and again, here, here's a screenshot showing the before and after of removing the tab. So you can see with the tab up there, you've got this extra bar above the URL bar. So you just right click next to the plus sign, customize toolbar, then drag the new, to um, the new tab icon away. And that removes the extra bar. Again, this is just a personal thing, but I prefer the tabs on the right. As you can see here, what I was saying is having them on the left not only um, pushes the content to the right, um, it all you, you're constantly your eyes are constantly drawn between the sidebar and the actual page, and I just find it a bit distracting trying to read. So having the sidebar on the right, in my opinion, um, is a bit less obtrusive um lets you focus on the page normally you know the the content is where you'd expect to be it's not you're not having to sort of read stuff halfway through the page it's all on the left as it were um the other thing is i couldn't find a keyboard shortcut as yet for this option show sidebars um you do have um keyboard shortcuts to do things like show bookmarks so bookmarks you can see how when i do show bookmarks what happens is the bookmark shows up in the um the sidebar and what you do is you actually get this slim down kind of version of the sidebar just showing the favicon so you can actually have um the your bookmarks open as well um and the sidebar and all the icons the favicons for the different websites will show up here um Another interesting thing is you can see how as I'm hovering over this, um, it's actually given, let me see if I can create another um, thing. So, right, okay, yeah, you do. So in the latest version of Firefox, you actually get a 
little icon, a um, little preview of the page when you hover over a tab that is not active. So this is the, you can see here, this is the current tab that's active and this one is um, not active. And when I hover over it, it shows this preview. What I just wanted to do was actually show you that that does work when you've got the bookmarks enabled as well. So it's only, you only get the preview for a tab that is not active as it were. Um, Okay, so let's go back to that. Um, so I haven't been able to find a keyboard shortcut to toggle that um, sidebar on and off. Also, the other thing is I'm not sure if there is an option to just show the favicons instead of the, um, the favicon and the title as well. There may be, um, that might be possible using user chrome.css but as I said I haven't found anything about that yet so dead easy to do so all you need to do two steps go to about config search for sidebar toggle it to true um, and then just come in customize the sidebar set it how you like and um, you're good to go and it's um, I think this is quite nice for um, laptops with smaller displays because um, it removes the, the tab bar up here, which, you know, takes up a lot of space and having it on the right, um, I just find it's much nicer and less obtrusive than having it on the left, but check it out. Easy to do. Uh, this will work in Firefox, uh, 131. Say in the nightly version, there are actually options. Um, in the settings. So if you're running Firefox nightly in Firefox labs, what you will have is um, an option to enable the sidebar and vertical tabs in this section. But if you're just running regular Firefox 131, you don't have those options in the Firefox lab setting. And, and that's why we need to use about config or the user JS file to enable the sidebar. But that's all there is to it. I think it improves Firefox, um, makes it a bit look, look a bit more modern. And um, uh, yeah, it's, it takes a while to actually kind of get used to not looking up the top for new tabs. Um, but I think once you get used to it, having them here is actually an advantage. And you, of course, all the normal tab shortcuts apply. So um, control tab switches through all the open tabs there, you know, control shift tab. Um, X to close it doesn't always work for some reason um, but yeah that's how you enable uh, vertical tabs on Firefox 131 and this should work on every operating system Mac Windows Linux Unix uh, you name it and it's easy to set up so that's all for now and hope that helps